Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Saxophone Factory. I am extremely, extremely excited. Uh, yesterday, on Friday, we jumped the broom. Uh, no, I, I've been married, but we went over 1,000 subscribers. Congratulations to all of y'all. Thank you ever so much for what you're doing. Uh, my friend Gabe was our 1,000th subscriber. Uh, finally got my friend Gary James Knight to subscribe. Thank you so much. Uh, we were at 1,003 as, as of the uh, recording of this video. And I've been waiting. I've been waiting to do this. I know I, 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 I recorded all of the Rubank Elementary method for saxophone. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop over the intermediate. I'm going to hop over the intermediate. It's basically not set up in a way that I really like, but the advanced method, they are two advanced methods that are set up beautifully, and we're going to walk through those. They are set up in units, and um, I'm going to show the um, how the units are set up here on the screen here in a second, and um, so that way you can see how it's set up. Um, and each of the units goes through uh, a number of, of skills. The first, um, the first skill in the unit will be scales and arpeggios. Um, the second skill is studies and melodic interpretation. Uh, let's see, we get through that one. Make sure we get, th I, don't, I don't miss any. And uh, the, the next one is studies and articulation. Uh, and they're all, and, 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 and all of these will be in the key of C. And then exercises and fingerings. And then ornamentations. And then solos. So I think that this is, it sort of hits all the areas that you need to grow in, all on the same unit. And the difficulty increases with the difficulty in keys. And it goes through... Um, so most, I mean, the beginning major, the easy major keys in volume one and in volume two, uh, the more challenging keys. Now we hope, we hope to, to, for this not to take three years to get through, um, that you have a lot of, uh, of the advanced method fairly quickly. Um, but the way that you encourage me is that if you, if you comment and you, and you share and get subscribers, uh, 1,000 was our first milestone, our first real milestone. Um, our second real milestone will be uh, 2,500 subscribers. Now, there isn't anything that YouTube cares about um, in the number of subscribers until, unless you have 1,000 um, so, uh, and hours watched. So we're going to try to increase that as well, get everybody through every unit. Now, we're going to start today on the first unit. The first unit is Scales and Arpeggio. Uh, it is page five, number one. So we don't have that whole page five lesson four or page five lesson six thing that we did in in, in the other book. It should be fairly fairly straightforward. Um, now we won't be able to get a lot done. Uh, hopefully, well, unfortunately, in the next couple of weeks, because the old girl needs to go into the shop. She's got a rip. She had a rip pad, and we got to get that replaced. So we're going to be down for a few days for sure. All right, uh, let's start at page five, number one, C major. You got it? Page five, number one, C major. Page five, number one. <laughs> Page six, number five. <laughs> Page 
page 19, number one, top. That was number 19, top. Number 19, bottom. <clears throat> Number, uh, page 19, number one, bottom. Page 44, studies and articulation. Number one. <laughs> That was number 44, number one.
Page 50 for exercises and fingering. Number one and two. <clears throat> Fingering, page 54, number one and two. Musical ornamentation, the trill. This is number one. We're going to play it in, in, in four four time. And the idea is to start trying to get these fingers moving in um, an even fashion. And there's also a, um, if you look at the third line, there's also alternate fingering that we that needs to be used. It is the B to C. Now, this is B, this is C, and we would never, ever do that. What we would do is that we would finger our B like this, and there's an alternate C right here. So we'd go B, C, B, C, B, C, B, C, especially on a trill fingering. And that's there with the asterisk on the fourth line when we get to B to C. All right, here we go. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one, one, <clears throat> two, three. I'm sorry, I, I, ah, you got me, because I didn't tell you about the next alternate fingering from the C to the D. We would never place in a trill, try to play C like this, and then D, that wouldn't happen. So we're going to finger C like our normal C, and right here in the middle, the, the E flat key, if we, if we hold the C key down, that's our alternate fingering for D. Now it doesn't sound like a full D, not at all, but that's one that we'd use. That's um, so that's musical uh, ornamentation, the, the trill or the shake, as they, they used to call it, on page sixty, number one. Now we're at the solos section, and you'll see in your syllabus that you spend a couple of weeks on the solos because the idea is to get them. Uh, as, uh, you know, get them as good as you can. And the first one is um, entitled Minuet. It's from Gluck's Orpheus of the Deep. Um, and I, I've heard this on flute and all sorts of things. And what we're going to try to do our first week is get notes and get rhythms. Get notes and rhythms. I'm going to try to play some of the dynamics. Uh, hopefully by the time we're done with this, we'll have a full recital-ready piece. All right, here we go. Um, <clears throat> minuet from Orpheus of the Deep. One, ready? <laughs>
Hope this unit, this first unit helps. And we'll be working on the second unit. And the third unit, hopefully it won't take 36 weeks. Or three years, or you know, three weeks on every unit. Um, but thank you again for um, subscribing. Thank you again for commenting. Thank you again for sharing. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to unit two. So until we see you again, keep playing.